wind is blowing like mad. Mad. Oh, I'm bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. So guys, I'm on my way to the post box because something's waiting there for me and I think I know what it is because one of you guys has uh, sent me a Christmas present um, so that might be it. Also, I'm waiting for some other letters that are supposed to be on the way. Uh, you guys told me that at least. So I'm uh, really excited to see which one of these things it is. Maybe something completely unexpected. It's always nice to get mail from you guys, so um, we'll see. It was actually a package from Marianne Gibson. Uh, USA, Florida, I think. So let's open this mother. What is hiding inside? What is hiding? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> She sent me one of my own get Germanized buttons because I said I don't even have those. <laughs> Thank you very much. That doesn't mean, of course, that I don't want them. I just haven't ordered them yet. I just put them in. Oh, that's nice. It actually looks really nice. <laughs> so get to the go to the fan shop if you want to buy one yourself. It's gonna go somewhere. And uh, this mask here she made for Claudia. Wow, that is really nice quality, actually. Damn with little holes for, for um, thingamabobs, what you call them. <laughs> really heavy as well, I didn't expect that, I thought it would be flimsy, but no. Wow, that is nice, and uh, Claudia can paint on it, obviously. Looks like a Phantom of the Opera, uh, Opera masks, kinda, because Phantom of the Opera is half, right? So nice, very nice, very nice. Where to put that to not let it get destroyed there. <laughs> and what else is in here? Da -da -da. Ah, more packaging material so that it doesn't get... Ah, yes, she told me she would send me something silly. <laughs> that is can in stein. That is amazing, actually. Holds any 1202 can? Uh, ounce. Ounces can. Plastic construction, not dishwasher safe, not microwave safe. Where would I put that in the microwave? <laughs> that is funny, though. Does can in stein. Just put dust in front of it and it's German. <laughs> from Think Geek. I know that page. Um, I have um, ordered stuff from there before. Very nice. Cool. Turn any can into a German Stein. That is amazing. That is, let, let's open this actually. This is what it looks like. Sadly, I don't have any cans, I don't think, at the minute. But it's amazing. <laughs> like, it's plastic, but the idea is so funny as well. I want to see what it looks like with a can inside. I mean, you can, like I said, see it here. It looks amazing, so, um, nice. Thank you very much, Marianne. And we also got a little card here, very nice. Danger, absurd, absurdity inside. <laughs> well, that just makes me want to open it more. This card has no purpose. <laughs> well, it sparkles, so that's, that's a purpose, right? <laughs> this is amazing. From Hallmark, they have so many cool cards there. We don't have any of these, like... Not any, uh, nearly as cool. Well, I just read the card and she said she doesn't want me to um, video this. <laughs> it's adorable though what she said in it, so thank you very much for that. Um, I'm really happy and um, Claudia will be happy about this too. I just know it. I'll send her uh, a picture right away because she's in London at the minute, sadly. She left actually a few days before your package arrived, so well. Uh, I'll try to kind of get it to her. Mm. Hopefully they'll leave uh, me in peace and at customs uh, at the border when I try to cross to England <laughs> and have a mask with me. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you again. Thank you very much. For anyone else who wants to send me stuff, you will find the address to the post box uh, for the post box in the video description of pretty much any of my videos, actually. Yeah. So guys, I wanted to give you a little update on my diet. Um, because obviously uh, I haven't done that in quite a while since... Um, the holidays, I don't think, and uh, there's a reason behind that because I haven't really lost any weight. I'm still at 94 point something kilograms, but I have to say that I feel a lot better, fitter, and a bit more tight everywhere, you know, and uh, I definitely gained some muscle. You can't really see it that much, but um, because there's still so much fat. No, but um, I feel better. I think I look a bit better in general, like not now because I didn't you know, this is how I got out of bed this morning, but anyway. Um, you know what I mean, just a general feeling of fitness a bit better at least. And uh, I'm gonna work out now. And the cool thing today is that, um, don't know if you can hear it, 
but there's a storm outside and it brings all the fresh air to my uh, to my flat and it really got me into the workout mode again because it's all stormy outside and I don't know I just is that the same for you sometimes I don't know I'm gonna work out now with good old Tony the 80s workout program that I still use. I know he got, a up, got an updated version of P90 by now. I might get that in the future, but for now I'm gonna still do my cardio with P90 from 1980 something. Guys, we're going to Cologne for Daniel's uh, interview. Look, looking fancy, looking, looking sharp. And uh, we're driving on the Autobahn at the moment. Beloved by so many people for it's unlimited speed abilities. Yes, Dan Daniel is uh, not in the mood for talking anymore. Not really. No. We just talked for like almost two hours or so. No, one hour. I don't know. His mouth is fuzzily, as we say in German. No words left. No, no words left. And here, uh, I filmed the autobahn so often already, and it's always kind of boring. But I don't know if you guys still want to see it. You say you want me to do like driving videos and stuff on the autobahn, but in the end, it's really just this gray street that goes forever and ever and ever. So I don't really know if it's that exciting. So prob probably not. <laughs> Dass die damals bei Giga äh, auch eher so ins kalte Wasser geworfen wurden. Wie heißt die Arena hier nochmal? Die Bayern? Nee. Bay Arena. Bay Arena war es genau, nicht die Bayern Arena. <laughs> Almost in Cologne, in Köln, four kilometers left. And then we're gonna see some sights. Outskirts of the city, not the prettiest place. Oh, that that, that uh, building here looks cool. What's that? It looks like a publishing company. It says Kölner Stadtzeitung. Nice. That's a big ass building. We have to go straight still. But that's nice. Big, big office building. Very modern looking. It looks a bit misplaced in this area but oh well and there you can see the dorm guys the dorm can, can you see the dorm it looks like we are in a more a bit more fancy district maybe the houses look a bit nicer than before and we're uh, right next to the Rhein on the left there it is and here you can you can see it better on Google Maps actually <laughs> than in real life the graphics are better <laughs> hello hello sir wo geht's hier an die Börse <laughs> Nurgle. <laughs> Nurgle is about to leave for his interview and I'm gonna go somewhere. First I need a toilet though because I am bursting, bursting. Nurgle is now at his interview. We just got there together. It wasn't hard to find at all actually. And I'm now at the uh, riverbank. What do you call that here? There's the bridges obviously. And the dorm is behind us somewhere. Might go there later and have a little, little walk. Oh, there you can see the dome in the background. Looks cool. <laughs> They're fighting with the uh, with the dove about food. That's brutal. <laughs> Let's see if they attack us or not. <laughs> I don't have any food. <laughs> Hmm, that's cool. It's a, like a ferry that goes from Köln to Düsseldorf and back. So you can have a little sightseeing trip on the ride. Come back here later. Nice alternative if you're here by uh, train. And you can just take the train home in Düsseldorf instead of Köln. If you're interested. There you go. There you can see the dome in the background again. And whatever this here is, a little uh, park situation kind of thing. I don't really know what that is. Let's have a look. Look at that, guys. Cool does that look? Already. So apparently, for some reason, they have, um, what do you call it? A guard of the area here 
There must be something going on at the moment, but people are not allowed to go in there. Didn't let me go through there. Not that I wanted to, but... I'm gonna be up there in, well, I don't know how long it takes. I think 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> I'm slow today. This is in the inside of the uh, little dome tower area we have here. Hmm, not very busy today. When I was here the last time, it was crowded. stands on a historical site. 2,000 years ago, Cologne was a Roman city and Roman buildings once stood where the cathedral now stands. The overview of the architectural history of the site shows that churches were always built in the same place and that each new church was larger than its predecessor. The buildings, dating from the 5th and 6th centuries, which were about 25 meters long, were followed by structures measuring almost 100 meters in length and ultimately by the 144 meter long Gothic cathedral, one of the largest churches in Christianity. Because only their foundation walls remain, we can only guess at the height of the buildings that previously stood on this site. Nevertheless, it is safe to say that Cologne's cathedrals have always been a defining feature of the city skyline. Cologne was the capital of the Roman province Germania Inferior. From the first century onwards, it was also the most important city on the Lower Rhine. This is the northeastern corner of the city. To the left is the main northern gate in the city wall, which dates from the second or third century. One of the old pedestrian archways has been reconstructed and can be seen outside the cathedral. Large, well-equipped townhouses rose up along the column-lined streets of the Roman districts of the city. To the east, two terraces lead down to the River Rhine, a few meters below. During the construction of the underground car park near the cathedral, much research was conducted into these houses. The remains of houses buried beneath the cathedral itself were also excavated. For example, you can see a Roman cellar at the entrance to the tower directly alongside the current tower foundations. And so the journey begins the second time because the last time I lost all the footage from uh, climbing up here. Which is a shame because it's quite the walk. But now that I train a bit more maybe it's easier. <laughs> it's very claustrophobic in here too. Thank you.
Halfway, maybe. <sighs> oh, that looks nice. <laughs> I think it's worth it, but it's quite exhausting. It's every time I do this. Third time in my life, maybe. Looks super cool in here. Like I said, a bit claustrophobic, maybe. <laughs> if you get problems with that. can hear the wind, it must be super windy outside. It's gonna be so scary up there. It was really scary last time already, but now that there's like a hurricane <laughs> kind of wind going on, it's gonna be really scary. It's like a labyrinth in here. Look at all the rest of the journey. It's getting windy already, even though we're not even at the top. <sighs> Fun, I better close my jacket. Did I mention that I'm afraid of heights? No. Still not very tall, but this is as high as we can go. here because we said C and D obviously somewhere. That looks cool, it's the top of the dome as well. Apparently you can go up there but obviously not the normal people. What's that? Something to ring the bell with maybe? Didn't know they had a Lego store here, that's cool. Gotta love Lego. And it's definitely one of my favorites. Favorite Lego sets, 419 euros. It's pretty pricey though. <laughs> That's a cool one too. Hello guys from the Lego movie. 
to remember these. They had a Lego Woody in Berlin as well. You can build your own Lego figure. That's cool. The backyard of the Simpsons house. Looks kind of <laughs> suspect. Well, guys, the carnival, the, the what do you call it? The fashing <laughs> is commencing soon, I guess. That's what it looks like, at least. That looks cool. Old buildings, wohin man schaut. As you would say in German, like wherever you look. Well, that doesn't look too old, but that, that one definitely looks old. Like an old church kind of thing.